benefit or boondoggle. A new median on a busy north side street is meant to help pedestrians and cyclists. But a week after its installation, it's wreaked havoc with some drivers. Dana Kozlov live in Ravenswood Manor to explain why in a story you'll see only on two. Dana. Robin Erica, pedestrians might be able to walk through this new crosswalk with relative ease, but a lot of people who live in this neighborhood say that drivers, on the other hand, who might not be able to see it because of the snow, who might not know it's there, have been plowing right into it. Part of a bumper here, a hubcap over there, car parts strewn near this new pedestrian island on Lawrence Avenue. The site the last two days of at least two Accidents. The driver's side went right into that curb area um, and, and really just you know brought the car to a halt. Janice Madrecki says her husband drove right into the new unmarked median near Ronan Park Sunday. He just didn't see it. There's probably an excess of $6,000, $6,000, $7,000 worth of damage okay. probably. Another woman's car ended up over the island Saturday. A car was kind of using it as a second lane and then cut in front of her. Janine Wise was there to help her out. She didn't need an ambulance, but that car was not drivable. 33rd Ward Alderman Deb Mel says this island is part of a $250,000 project to connect the 312 River Run Trail between Horner and Ronan Parks, providing a safe crossing for cyclists and pedestrians. And it's addressing uh, concerns that we've heard coming out of the community. So th we've had many meetings regarding um, safety. We engaged CDOT, and this is what they came up with as a solution. And they're traffic calming measures. First off, anytime the traffic slows down, everybody benefits. But unlike similar medians east on Lawrence that are clearly marked with posts, signs, and sometimes trees, this one has nothing. It went up last week. I understand the markings aren't up yet, which is, you know, upsetting to me also. I wish, uh, you know, we would get some signs posted here sooner than later. But skeptics likewise have doubts. When this refuge island came up, I didn't quite understand who it's a refuge for because it looks more like a target than a safe space. Alderman Mel says she plans to reach out to the Chicago Department of Transportation tomorrow to find out when they might mark this new median. Uh, that is, of course, a concern here in the neighborhood. I also reached out to CDOT today. A spokesperson said he was unable to provide me with any information about this until tomorrow. We're live in Ravenswood Manor. Dana Kozlov, CBS2 News. Robin Erica. Yeah, glad you finally made it off the street there, Dana. You made us a little nervous there. Thanks. <laughs> we know you'll stay on it, though, in terms of finding out what happens tomorrow. Well, developing